continues. Well, time now for a very popular segment. Alex Flippin is going to answer a question from a KNWA viewer. Yes, this one comes from Sharon, and it reads, If two cars are traveling towards each other at 50 miles per hour and hit head-on, is it considered a 100-mile-per-hour crash? Well, here's Alex with the answer in tonight's That's a Great Flipping Question. Car crashes, something all of us try to avoid every second we're behind the wheel. I always marvel at the fact that driving requires you put so much trust in strangers driving on the same road. They mess up and, well... But what about the driver who breaks that trust and comes barreling into your lane? Scary thought, but it happens. And that brings us to tonight's GFQ. Two, let's say, identical cars traveling at 50 miles an hour collide head-on. Is it a 50-mile-an-hour impact, or is it 100 miles an hour worth of impact? Unfortunately, that's a physics question, and physics, not my strong suit. Lucky for us, there's a university filled with physics professors right in our own backyard. And here's what all those professors tell me. Now, the answer does depend on the weight of the vehicle, but assuming that they both weigh the exact same, it's pretty simple to figure out the force of the impact. They simply add the speeds of the two cars together. Car A is traveling at 50 miles per hour. Car B is also traveling at 50 miles per hour. They hit head-on. That's the equivalent of a 100-mile-an-hour crash. If one was going 30 miles per hour and the other at 40, that would be a 70-mile-an-hour crash. It has to do with relative velocity, but if you want that explained, you'll have to look it up because, again, physics, not my strong suit. Thanks for that great flipping question. I'm Alex Flippin. Interesting stuff. All right, questions for Alex? Just visit the GFQ section of our website at nwahomepage.com.